Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Immortal Towers. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You get my videos as they come out, and what more could you want out of your day? Now this episode, we're going into Rome 16. Now I should have done Rome 16 earlier. It's just, every time I went there, it was just straight up broken. So like, have a look at this. I wonder if it's still, no, yeah, it's fixed, good. So I was suffering from an issue where I would go into Rome and I would just appear on the outskirts of the grid and it would just be very confusing moving around. Like if you just clicked on the houses, it would go there. The journey there made absolutely no sense and was very confusing. So I held off on doing Rome 16 until now. Until now. And I've had people asking me, can I have a look at your stats? So there we are. Pretty average, all things considered. Immortal King 9, though, almost Immortal King 10, Road to Emperor. That's that's all I'm saying, Road road to Emperor. And we've got a new event on Teacher's Day. I mean, straightforward event. You buy those 10 items a day as a free-to-play, you use them, you get 30 points, and then you cry that you don't get more points, basically. Only bright side is you get Netherworld tokens from here, which is very nice. Just stay top 20. She'll be right. I get myself one token. I will honestly be happy. I'm very close. Eight and eight. Almost new skills. Nowhere near the next. For another world token. Good God. Just going to use my insight real quick. I've got to use the rest of those off camera, I think, because it takes too damn long for me to do it, you know? And yes, I am pumping my Tang Priest. I'm just going to, uh, Get him to 350 first, half immortal first, but until then I need a bunch of new 250s just for A, more stats. What is this? What is this book? Uh, there you are. Strange spirit troop. I'll take it all. Heaven exploration is going well. I actually have been taking advantage of the Spirit Jade uh, personal ranking event. Oh, sorry, the limited reward ranking events, so I've been spending 100 every time this pops up. Kind of been worth it, not gonna lie. Purely just so I got Spirit Jade back, as well as that actually pays for yet another action point, so I'm slowly building up my action points. I got the 150 reward, and I know now I'm just hoping <laughs> that I'm able to get 220, because I'm putting everything into it. Everything. So we'll see how we go, I suppose. 30k is just not possible. <laughs> Cry. Yeah, oh, I still got to do Contest of Towers. Well, I'll do that after Rome. So let's just jump straight into Rome 16 here. Back to the, back to the, no, no, it is broken. Oh, God. It's just a different way it's broken. <laughs> um... Oh, dear God, where am I? So I need to just... Okay, so right now, I am one square ahead of the purple thing. That's so broken, it's fucked. Alright, um, I will, I'll manage, I'll manage. Three across, and then down. I have to completely ignore the blue dot, fucking hell. The Gia's Mansion. Mr. Gia is a reputed forging master. Most weapons of the honourable sex are forged by him. You're invited to pay a visit to the mansion and you find that the forging masters are not ordinary as they breathe the same way as demonic beasts and the weapons they forge can absorb the essence of the users. You see, I read that like absorbing the essence of the users was a good thing so it could show more strength of them, but now I see they're just eating them. Okie doke, alright. Kill them. These alchemists feature evil skills and senior cultivation of, oh, well, emerging as a powerful force with their weapons. When the Gears are gone, there is no more menace. Well, you'd hope not. Deterrence plus 10, honestly. One across, holy shit. Up. This is so confusing. Yongli sect is a well-known righteous sect in the Kunlun realm. The cultivation features explicit skills and emphasizes full strength in each attack against enemies. Ever since the beasts came, the surrounding demonic beasts of Yongli sect became stimulated. To fight them, the sect has lost many disciples. 
Well, I'm really hoping that I have an anti-monster pill to give you, which I do not. What about an anti-beast pill? I do not. Okay, I'm going to go make that now because it's going to take a while. Anti-monster. Anti-beast, anti-monster, anti-beast, anti-monster. I'm not seeing a big difference, but we're going to go anti-monster. Anti-monster pill level two. Anti-monster, where are you? Anti-monster. Three minutes, that should be enough time, I reckon. Okay, now down to this cave. Confusing way of travelling. Yanming Cave was originally a salt mine. After years of mining, it's finally been abandoned. You can sense some traces of evil spirits at the entrance, and you find several fox demons in the cave. Well, they're dead, so... Problem solved. No! Faith plus ten, though. I was supposed to read that. That's very disappointing. Tianbin Village was originally a small village that advocates Ahimsa. Okay, maybe I'm reading that wrong. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. I, I think I might be saying it wrong, or maybe it's spelt wrong. I don't know. Most people live a vegetarian life, but over recent years, the plants nearby have been affected by the acute change between heaven and earth. The plants are diminishing, and the livelihood is getting worse by the day. Their livelihood is getting worse by the day. Oh, uh, well, I literally have more spirit stones than food, so sure. And again, I will put the journey that I have thus far and overall in the description box along with everything I used for it as usual. And again, what you see me pay in this is going to be about a quarter of what you pay in this. I said that late, but here we are. Thanks for your rescue. Many villagers hate killing but end up suffering. With these spirit stones, villagers won't need to hunt the snakes for months. Faith plus ten. Well, you're welcome. On to the next. BU Workshop is a renowned guild that's visited by streams of customers. People are delighted to see quality goods on the shelves. You arrive there and find that the place breathes like a lair of demons. Turns out everything is the trick of a demonic beast. I'm just going to purge it. Seems easier. There are so many accomplished masters in BU Workshop, which takes you a lot of work to purge them all. Given the stunning number of demons here, you wonder why... They would spend years operating a chamber of commerce, faith plus ten. I've just destroyed this whole secret society of nice demons. <laughs> Whoops. Floral Post is well known for being friendly. Their manners have earned them great reputation and countless orders in this realm. The snake disaster caused several deliverers to be bitten by venomous snakes, and so the orders are going to be hard to complete. Well... Let's hope I have a soul extracting pill level 2. I do not. Anti-demon pill level 1? I do not. Okay. Well, fuck you. Wait, what were they? Uh, soul extracting seems pretty deterry. I'm going to go soul extracting pill level 2. One soul extracting pill level 2. Soul extraction. Where are you? There you are. Okay, now I just need to go back up to this one over here. Even though that's very confusing and not at all right. Anti-monster. Thanks for your grace, immortal. My disciples will purge the demons with all they've got. The chief makes a sincere pledge. Faith plus ten. Well, shit, I didn't need faith. I need deterrence. Okay, top right one. Magnificence Village used to be a tiny village without a name. After Master Magnificence <laughs> successfully ascended... Through enduring the trials of the Ninth Heaven, this village was founded to be his birthplace. Master Magnificence's ascension made many cultivators come to this village. The village is filled with a vibe of cultivation. Two cultivators are now arguing about who should take which room. I love how my immediate reaction to this is just, I'm going to beat one of them up. I'm just going to beat one of them up. I like it. Yeah, let's I'd kill the, I don't know, hit the short one. Damn it, fate! The short cultivator thought you were with the tall one and he leaves quickly. I really wasn't, though. I was just... Tianjin Village is the village that has received the heaviest loss from the beast attack. Most young adults die from the calamity. Currently, only the weak and vulnerable remain in the village and they cannot even feed their stomachs, let alone restore their village. 
Which one's deterrence? Is food deterrence? 18,000 spirit stones is shitload. I'm going to give food. No, but food's probably faith, isn't it? All right. Yes. Thank you so much for your grace and water. Hopefully Tianjin Village can get by safe and sound. Deterrence plus 10. I also hope that. Enjoy the food. Nanshi Village. The villagers in Nanshi are the luckiest of the realm. The village is surrounded by night glow grass, a rare herb, and they can fetch a huge price when sold to most guilds. The snake disaster has caused many of the residents who collect the grass to be poisoned and unable to move. Well, shit, eh? Um, just have some ghost grass, I don't know. Damn it, Faith! Come on, man. The nether grass is poisoned. Are you going to neutralize the poison with another? The villagers who receive the herbs are whispering. However, at the sight of the efficacy, they express their heartfelt thanks to you. Shui Xiang Town is a scenic spot known to few in this realm. There is a large river outside the town. The river would run past this, along a sky-high cliff and into the bottom of it, roaring. The town people advocate cultivation, but find it a pity that no cultivation ma master can offer guidance to them. They have a relatively weak cultivation base. Well, what are you going to do? One soul gathering pill. Oh, fuck me dead. I... Shouldn't have clicked that. <laughs> oh no. Thanks for your grace, immortal. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, alright. Everyone's getting a bit too faithy for me. Nether Sky Cave lies in the area where the yin energy is at its best. It's known to the surrounding villages that the cave has become the place in which demons pursue their cultivation and blast out yin energy. Recently, you pass by and find a group of female demons cultivating in the cave, but you heard that the demons never have murdered a human. Well, I don't... Is slaying them going to give me faith or deterrence? They're demons. Can I give you an essential appeal? Yes. Many thanks to you, immortal. We sisters have had a really hard time for breakthrough. They claim they will kill no humans who have been cultivating themselves in the cave. Deterrence plus ten. Fine with me, as long as it's deterrence. Have fun. And Li Zhong sect is a large cultivation sect that rose to popularity this year. There are countless masters of cultivation, but it was said they have a strange way. Many cultivators fail to grasp it. You've been invited by the sect for a visit long ago. You find many strange occurrences in the sect. Even their way of cultivation is no different than that of evil beings. Pretend that nothing happens. I mean... Is that deterrence? It doesn't sound like deterrence. That doesn't even sound like faith. Beat the evil. That's definitely faith. That's 100% faith. Pretend that nothing happens is probably deterrence. What do you mean? All right. Why not stay here for some more days? I apologize for any inconsiderateness. The elder wants you to stay for his own reason. Faith plus 10. Fine. It's fucking bullshit. If this soul extracting pill is like faith, I'm so fucked. I'm just, I'm fucked. Please be deterrent. Soul extracting sounds like deterrence, you know? No, right. Faith. Oh, you fuck. Thanks, Immortal, that's exactly the pill we need. Fuck you two. Fuck you two. An absolute cock-up, ladies and gentlemen. My faith is incredibly outbalanced. Ah, oh, I'm going to be a master of merit, which sounds a lot better than it is. Jesus Christ. Not adjudicator, but I will adjust the journey done in the description box so you can pick which one will actually get you to 60-60. I mean, you can go up to 80, 40. You generally don't want to go past that because anything over 80, that's it. No more balance. You are one way or the other. Depressing, but here we are. The fun part for everyone. Now, I'm actually standing right next to that boss. It just looks like I'm off the grid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> to fight this boss, you're going to need to be running 1.7 million attack. 1.4 million defense, about 6 million plus health, 
and 1.1 million missed. And again, those stats are kind of averages. You could do it with less. You could definitely do it with more. Sometimes it might take you a couple of lucky hits to do it. There's no limit on the amount of times you can attack it. So just if you're close to those stats, just keep going at it. RNG will eventually be on your side. Eventually. All right, now let's kill this guy. Immortal Venerable 3. That's adorable. Yeah, fair enough. After solving the incidents here, I am a master of merit. Fucking useless. Got it. Fuck you. I'm out. <laughs> but that is Rome 16 done. Hallelujah. There's only four more Romes to go. I'm pretty sure, actually. Do I have the 17? I always forget which ones that I have um, of the book. Uh, did I get the 16th? One, I did. Okay, all right. Which means there's just 18 and 19 left. Yep, 18. And 19. 180k merit before I'm out of perception books to buy. That's so depressing. I want more perception, damn it. Oh. But yes, I'm going to do my contest of Tau as I sign off here. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and as always, have a great day.